nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let the relay begin. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you. Relay starts when all these teams come together from different organizations in Lenawee County uh, to try to raise money to help fight cancer or to help find a uh, cure for cancer. Um, we all come out here and we uh, put up a nice tent and we try to make this a celebration of our efforts for trying to help find the cure for cancer. There's luminary ceremonies, it's very emotional, the lighting of the candles. People come out and they remember those that have passed before. And then there's a party all night long, um, it's 24 hours. Team members carry a baton around the track and they pass it on from team member to team member for 24 hours to keep the spirit going. All teams have at least one member on the track for the next 24 hours. Please light your candle when you hear your cue and remain quiet during the reading of the names of our loved ones. Tonight, let us join together to celebrate life. One aspect of that celebration is to honor our valiant cancer survivors as well as remember our loved ones who have lost their battle. Cancer shows no preference. It takes young, old, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, grandparents, husbands, wives, and best friends. Tonight, we pay tribute to those we love and those whose lives have been touched by cancer. With these luminaria candles that we light tonight, we say, we honor you tonight. This light represents the love we have for you. It burns for others to see, but it burns brightest in our hearts and in our souls. What we want to do is find out why you got involved with the Relay for Life this year and why your company has come down from uh, Ypsilanti to join us. Actually, Cynthia, we have uh, Mitchell Home Medical has a location right here in Adrian, and I am a Lenawee County Ike, uh, you know, for lack of a better yes. term, if you will. My wife's uh, dad was a, uh, uh, he's actually lost his battle to cancer, so. Uh, again, it has touched my family, you know, kind of, kind of personal. So yes. personally, I've been involved with the relay for, uh, you know, for a number of years, and and knowing that our corporate office and basically just the community involvement would definitely want to get involved in in this really worthwhile event. I'm a cancer survivor. I believe in 100% of standing behind all cancer survivors and the ones that's passed on. Uh, my heart goes out to all of them. That's why I'm involved in Relay. What's your favorite part of Relay? Oh, the survivor lap. I can never make it through without crying. I love it. I love to see all the people there cheering survivors on and just to know that there's so much support. Yes. Yeah. It's it certainly my favorite, helps. Favorite. That, it used to be that cancer was, um, people were afraid and they, they stayed at home and didn't have support. and. Um, last night I saw 500 people out here that you can relate to and yep. they, they know what you've gone through. Yep. That or, helps, yep. huh? Yes, it does because, you know, and, and when you can see somebody who's been a survivor for 20 years, there's no, there's no feeling like it. It's like, I can be that person in, you know, another 15 years. <laughs> oh, so. Sharon, thank you. We love you. Thanks. Keep walking. Get that blood flowing. Good morning. Good morning. Did you freeze last night? No. Good. 
Keep walking. <laughs> How are you this morning? And hey, we're selling $100 relay bears today for only $5 each, today only. Wow, what a deal. It's a deal, it's a deal. And we have to advertise the rare chair affair is going to be going on at 10 a.m. this morning over at the Grand Pavilion. People decorate chairs and um, all sorts of shapes and sizes, and then we auction them off at the uh, Grand Pavilion. We have a family team. My father died of cancer in 1978. And four years ago, the family decided to come together and come to Relay for the first time. And it's the greatest event ever. We have a, we have a riot every year. Tell me, what, what are you doing right now here at Relay for Life? We have a very, very important job that we are doing right now. We Absolutely. are on the TP patrol. Yes. TP patrol. Yes, we, we are providing toilet paper to all of the, oh. uh, the Port of Johns. They're walking, they're talking. Thank you. My favorite thing about Relay is uh, pretty much just everybody coming out and uh, working for one cause and uh, working all together to, to do one thing. Tell me what your real day job is and how you happen to come to Relay. Well, I'm a male model and um, I enjoy swimming and surfing. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, uh, I work for the Attorney General. I am uh, the spokesman for the Attorney General and, and his Director of Communications, but now, I'm just out here as a volunteer. Real? Which is real and which is a story? Uh, the communications job yeah. is real. As you can tell, I'm a shy guy. You are But shy. his real story is why he's here. Yes. yes. That's what I'm trying to get out Ma of. Ma Mom died in 2000 of breast cancer after fighting for 23 years with it, uh, going through seven remissions. And um, so in August of every year, I try and get out to different Relay for Life across the state of Michigan and, and do my part to, to fight back. Wow. Awesome. I didn't know your real story. You <laughs> see? <laughs> Car Carla, talk to me. We've been friends for like 100 years. Yes, or more. Yeah. Now, you helped us make the program book this year. Um, you also um, helped maintain Relay Daily. So, for a give, while. <laughs> yeah, give, give me your story. Why are you involved with Relay for Life? Actually, my daughter got me first involved when she was doing multi-county relays, and um, which really brought me in. But I also have a mother-in-law that died of cancer a few years ago, and, and uh, Megan Hayes, which is a very good friend, and her mom worked with me for a number of years. And uh, when I come here and I see all those survivors walking and those caretakers, it's just the most moving event. And you know why you're doing all of this. Thank you. We're going to do karaoke at 1 o'clock. You going to be here? I'll be here. All right. You say the oh, what, 1 o'clock in the morning? No, 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 no. No, no, I got to go get some rest. I look so okay. All right, we've got another player here for Plinko. How are you, sir? What is your name? I'm uh, doing great. My name is Ben Howard. Ben, what do you do for a living? Um, oh, your last name is Medic. You got it. All right. Have you seen the show? No, never. He's, well, we've got three games. America's favorite game, Plinko, Putt Putt, or the Wheel of Hope. I have to do Putt Putt. you got to do Putt Putt. Ben is lining it up again. Nice, easy stroke. Oh, Ben! In and out. Everybody's a winner, though, Ben. Come over and pick out a prize in our prize box. Uh, my favorite part about Relay is actually all the celebration and everything going on. Everybody gets so excited about um, celebrating the survivors and remembering those who have passed uh, due to cancer. We're all touched by cancer in one way or another. Our survivors are a testament to the progress we're making in the fight. But there remains much to do. Special thanks go out to our, the generous support uh, that Relay has received from our donors and our sponsors, our team captains, and our committee members. Their dedication to the cause is overwhelming. Thanks to all of you for your involvement. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm here with some of our 2007 Relay for Life committee, and we are getting animated for a cure. Hi, I'm Carla. Mitty and I are animated for a cure. Hi, I'm Jeff. Mickey and I are animated for a cure. Hi, I'm Carrie. Lucy and I are animated for a cure. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Princess Genevieve and I are animated for a cure. Hi, I'm Kim, and Lightning McQueen and I are animated for a cure. 
Hi, I'm Bob. I'm here with Batman, and we're animated for a cure. Hi, I'm Jack, and I'm here with Mickey and Goofy, and we are animated for a cure. Hi, I'm Cynthia Peppel, and I'm Super Polyp Man, and we're superheroes. Get the test, get the polyp, get the cure! My dad uh, passed away from uh, cancer two and a half years ago, and I am hopeful that through it, cancer can uh, be cured in my lifetime. I am animated for a cure because my mom is a two-time breast cancer survivor, and my father passed away from colon cancer, and that's why I'm involved with the Relay for Life. Yeah, I've lost numerous friends and family members to cancer, and I am on the Relay Committee in hopes that one day other people won't have the same story I do. I'm on the 2007 Relay for Life Committee because my grandma is a cancer survivor, and I hope they find a cure. Relay, for me, is just an awesome community event, and it's a time when we all come together to focus on one issue, and that is to make a difference and to find a cure for cancer. This is my first year on the committee, but not my first year in Relay. I am a cancer survivor for 17 years, and I've been in Relay since day one 12 years ago. I am hoping for a cure that will continue. I have lost my father, my grandmother, and my aunt, and recently my best friend. So we're animated for a cure. Hope to see you there. I lost both of my grandparents to cancer, and it was the situation where you just have to sit by and watch. So when I came to our first relay and was able to walk a lap, and light a candle in memory of them, I knew that we were fighting a battle together and we would fight and we would win this battle against cancer. So I'm animated for a cure for all of the ones that we've lost and for all of the friends that I've made along the way, our survivors. And it's just such a moving experience to be part of doing something and fighting back. We're not going to take this and, and set it aside. We are animated for a cure. We're fighting. About 18 years ago, there was a young boy, a little bit older than Jesse, who was diagnosed with cancer. And he used to come over to our house and hang out with my husband and I and watch TV. And I knew nothing about cancer at the time. And I was just so afraid that David was going to die, and I didn't know what to do to help him. I finally realized, you know, I have to go see David. And so I went over to the hospital and I thought, okay, here's my plan. I'll go at lunchtime, I'll take him a new baseball cap, and I'll say, hey, David, how's it going? I'm sorry I can't stay longer because I have to get back to work. I'm on my lunch hour. Well, guess what? David wasn't in his room. David wasn't even in the hospital anymore. They had transferred him to Ann Arbor that morning and I never saw David again alive. And so 18 years later, when this Relay for Life thing came along, I said, this is something that I can do for David. Cancer touches everyone's lives, every family, every individual. And I think that, that this event year after year has been such a uniting force, to such a support program for for people in this community and also such a great way to, to raise money for continuing services and research. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Let's oh, ask, we'll never let, miss it. Let's ask Toby what he thinks about this. <laughs> I don't know what he was looking at oh. back there. How do you, what do you think about this whole thing, Pumpkin? Huh? Are you allowed to talk to Ken? You are, Will. We're so glad to have you here and have that doggy love. Thank you. <laughs> I got some nice kisses. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I really want you to consider having a team in the Relay for Life. It's an event that will really change your life forever. And if you've ever known anyone who's battled cancer, then you know why you want to come to the 24-hour Relay for Life because you're making a difference in someone's life and you're helping them stay alive and you're providing services for them right here in the community. Have fun. Make new friends. And remember why we're all here. God bless you all and have a great 24 hours. <laughs>